This is St. John's Cemetery, located in San Mateo, California. This cemetery is an older cemetery. It was established in 1885. Let's go explore. It's crazy. This cemetery is nestled back in a neighborhood, in a residential area. This neighborhood is, or this cemetery is nestled back inside. You would never know it was here. I just came across it when I was doing Google searching of different cemeteries near me. And I never even knew this place was here. And I've driven through the neighborhood that this thing is behind and I never knew. Wow, the name's Howard. Locked up tighter than a drum. doesn't really have much on anybody but the last name on the outside there's nothing else the door is right here it's locked up wow. looks like it hasn't been opened for a minute interesting in here there's there's a lot of old graves but then there's some fairly recent graves graves from people that were buried here like maybe three four years ago you know the, one of the most recent ones i found is 2017 so there's still people being buried in here and there's still actually some spots that are vacant in here too This is probably not gonna be a very long video just because this is kind of a small cemetery. There's some cool stuff in here to see. We're gonna look at that in a sec, but I don't expect this video to be very long because it's really not a real huge, huge place. This is definitely an interesting spot right here. It's for uh, cremations. Very nice. Very beautiful, as you can see. There's a little bench over here too. Now some of these graves over here look like they're rubbed, rubbed off. Like I don't know if there's even still names on anything over here. As you can see, this stone right here is pretty old. Some, like I said, this goes back to 1885, so <laughs> look at this one back here. 1868 to 1940, Joseph Miller. Wow, it's hiding way back here all by itself. Found some old stones over here. This one is completely wiped, wiped. You can't even, I can see barely the inscription on it, but I can't even make it out. And this one over here, this person looks like they passed in um, 1889. And there's another stone over here that I can't even make that. There's nothing on that. I don't even know. But that's insane. Here's another stone back here that's completely, you know, with age and you know, weather and everything else. Completely wiped. Can't, I can see where the inscription was, but I cannot make it out. Another couple stones. These are, you can make these out. Last name is Knuckles. I googled them and I didn't come up with anything. But then there's this stone up here that that's wiped out too. You can't even really tell what anything on there says. That's, this, is, this, this tells you this goes back some, some years for sure. This old part over here is just straight dirt. There's not even any grass over here. It's crazy. 
let's go check out. There's another part over here. It's got some cool looking little mausoleums and stuff. Let's go check this out. Back on the pavement, <laughs> finally. Look at this area. But what I was really looking at is over here. This big old looking mausoleum back here. Jeez, it's got a gate around it. I don't know if I can even get that close to it, but it is actually very incredible. I'm sure maybe the family put a gate around it to keep people away, I don't know. Maybe it's old and decrepit. I'm seeing rubble on the ground over here. So maybe it's just falling apart and they don't want nobody to get around it. I have no idea. Absolutely incredible. I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit of a history of who is actually in this one, because it's crazy looking. If I can find a name, I'll Google it. I'm gonna take a closer look to see if I can actually see there's a name. <laughs> no such luck. As you can see the rubble and everything. Maybe there's just things gated off to keep people away because it looks like there are pieces crumbling and falling off. I wonder if I can zoom in on that. There's like rubble on the ground at the top of the stairs. There you go right there. special grandiose one that's for sure around the back side of this thing there, there is a gate but there is a door that's not locked but I don't know about that because there's a ton of groundskeepers here and stuff and I don't know if they're gonna put me out if I try to go in there it's crazy around the side of this thing on the other side there is a great grave here Margaret Kearns. So I did some Google searching and found nothing, but obviously this family was was somebody was somebody around here with this size mausoleum and then Margaret was buried on the outside of it, it looks like. Lots of beautiful graves in here. Very unique. Some of these, yes, you can tell are very old. Wow, the last name is Shea. 1887, 1941, 1964. The last person in here was 1964. Very beautiful. That last big gigantic mausoleum with that fence around it, I am so tempted to go in there. The gate's not locked. It says, doesn't say, it does not say anywhere that you know no trespassing it does not say that anywhere so before i leave here when i'm done at the end i may try to get in there and if i get kicked out of here well then i'll be done with my video anyway so Ooh, look at that this looks like a big one it's not fenced off it's not locked up there's stairs going up to it so let's go see uh with the significance of the community this that these people have if they're anybody that's well well to do well known
looks like I'm gonna have to uh, parrot. These are the people that had um, donated the land for this cemetery. I'd read a little bit of the history of the cemetery and uh, I guess the Parrot family had, where's, where's some of the ones that had donated the land. So the land was donated by Abby Parrot in 1885. Um, I don't think she's listed here anywhere on, on this, but there's other people with the last name of Parrot mentioned here. But um, that is a brief history of this cemetery. This place is amazing. Well, there's some pretty recent candles in here. Well, coming soon, looks like they're building onto the cemetery, as you can see the the uh, plans. <laughs> but there's candles in here, there's little bowl of like looks like twigs and fake fruit and stuff sitting right there this thing is gorgeous it says up there blessed are the dead who die in the Lord here's the there's a dome on this thing so there that is a bit of cracks earthquake damage I'm sure you know we live in you know, California. So, this thing is awesome. Now I do believe, I don't know if this is the front side of it, I'm not sure what side is the front and what side is the back. This might be the back, but if you could see this door that's in the back of this thing, up underneath everything, I don't know what is in here. That is crazy. Oh, it looks like there's some kind of, in there, check that out. That is awesome. Is this where the family is? Are they up above? Or it's hard to tell. But there's definitely a grave in here. Um, off to the left, there is like a flag draped. Looks like a coffin or something, or something in here. You could tell off to the left. I think everybody is down inside here. Up above is more of just the memorial marker. This thing is truly amazing. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Like I said, definitely one of the most impressive ones I've seen. And from what I was reading on Google, like I said, this family had donated the land, or Abby did, so. No wonder they got one of the biggest spots in the whole place. That flag draped casket that was down underneath this this memorial uh, most likely it was Joseph Parrott born in San Francisco January 7th 1888 died Camp Fremont October 29th 1918 US Army so that's what the casket with the uh, the flag over it that was down below Walk down this hillside to get down here because as you can see down there, there's there's work trucks. They're working down there, so I can't get through. And I want to come and look at this little mausoleum right here. But as you can tell, well not tell, but as you can see, someone has a golf ball they must have hit over here. <laughs> Crazy. I don't know where the golf course is around here, but maybe someone was hitting something at a house around here and it came over. But this is what I came down here to look at. Um, there's no name on it. I don't know what family this is, who they are but they're all by themselves at the bottom of this hill. As you can see the big uh, place I was at before, the top of the hill. Came down to take a look at it, but there is no name on it. There's not even a year on it. There's nothing on it. Doors locked. Doors locked. 
rusty chain, rusty lock. I don't think anyone's been up here. Open this door in quite a while. What's crazy is you can tell this place has been here a while. This one, this is, pro I mean, look, look at the steps that are basically coming apart. The brick underneath is showing. Everything's kind of crumbling. They're very old stone type deals in the hillside here where this is. As you can see, this thing is in the side of a hill. Wild. They got the air vents here, but I'm sure there's nothing to see in there. The air vents. Can't see nothing in there. And there's the back side of it. God, I would have loved to have known who this was, but like I said, nothing. there's no markers outside of what family, who they are, who they were in the community. But it's, it's a big, nice one, so I would assume they were somebody. Ah, uh, this one right here. Ah, there's people, uh, more people over here by the name of Parrot. So there's more people in here. And this, right here, this bench. In recognition of William G. Parrot Jr., 1918 to 2007, lifelong service and dedication to St. John's Cemetery. I would assume that's the same relation to the people who have donated the land. I would assume. Find a parrot's, the last name of parrot scattered out all over the place over here. Another, another one that's just, you can't read. You can see the stone over there, that's caving in. That's crazy, this is, wow. This is insanity. Not insanity, but it's just, just the time. Time, you know, it's wearing away at it. This one looks like it's caving in. You can't read anything on it. This one too, same thing. You can't, I can't make anything out on here. I don't think there was anything on this, these two that were right here. Cause that one's got a little bit of something on it, I could tell. The one on the other side had a little bit of something. This one, I don't think had anything on it. So it might be some that are just not even, you know, occupied. Don't want to get too close over there, but over here there's a bunch of construction going on over here. I guess they're putting, uh, area for cremations down there brand new spots can't go down there it's closed due to the fact that they're working down there and digging up the ground another one that can't make it out <laughs> i don't think i've been at a cemetery where it's had so many uh, stones that were just kind of washed away with weather and time where you can't even read them i don't think i've ever been in a cemetery that i've come across this many stones that i couldn't read Insane. Well, I'm back at this big gigantic mausoleum that was gated off. There's not a sign saying don't go in. There's not a lock on the gate door around back. Am I gonna do it? Yeah, well, we did it. We're inside. Jeez, I think I know, like I said, I know why there's a gate around this place because it's probably, it's crumbling. Here's the door. As you can see, I'm gonna watch my head here. There's stone that has crumbled, so that's no joke. That's probably why there's a gate around it right now. Crazy. Door's locked, of course, but locked, oh boy. I didn't think that was going to be real. All right, I'm getting out of here before I get kicked out. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're enjoying the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Click the bell icon. Therefore, you'll be notified of all of my future uploads. Thank you for watching, fellow explorers, and I will talk to you soon.